everybody. Excuse the fan in the background because I'm enjoying the last few days I can use it because when my bird gets here, I am not allowed to use it in the slightest. Uh, I'm gonna keep looking this way uh, because I'm looking at the recording button instead of at the camera. So we'll see how that goes. I hate this. Um, I might switch it around and find out. But I'm back with another cosplay video. Um, so yeah. The problem is I'm looking at myself, not the camera. Um, but I need to make sure I don't look stupid. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> today, my haul hasn't changed. I have... I mean, I guess I have more lip gloss, but... What are you gonna do about that? Uh, so today I'm going to go for more of a post-apocalyptic look. It's gonna be a bit dirty with some bruises and just like generally not the awesome makeup I was doing last time. It's gonna be more so, um, the concealer, uh, which I do have concealer now. Um, it's gonna be more so the concealer and then we're gonna go in with some darker colors and make out some bruises, maybe some blood, um, and we'll see how that goes. So I don't have a proper um, application applicant applicant for this. Um, I have uh, this thing in the bob. I don't actually know. This is probably a good application anyway. So I'm gonna squirt some on there. Oh wait, it's so messy. Uh, I'm covered in white eyeshadow, I think. Um, and now what I do is I just pop it so thick into the areas that are uh, most frustrating for me, which is my whole face. <laughs> uh, and then you just kind of. I don't really think this is the right shade for me, but we'll figure it out. My skin is super pale, so it's hard to find a good um, shade for that. Uh, but the way that I combat like looking weird is I just bring it down so that it shades into my neckline, just kind of like that. And I want to keep applying the like much on this, but <laughs> I'm just gonna keep applying it until my whole face is equal. So now that that's done, um, I'm actually going to go in with that same powder I used a little bit ago um, and just sort of like darken what I'm trying to get at. Uh, my art, my, um, my makeup is still an absolute shit show. Like there's no uh, organization or anything. And I guess I should organize it, but... Okay, so I'm gonna go in with uh, this uh, blush thingy, um, just to like make it seem a bit more powdery and dusty almost. Um, this obviously is just gonna give the dusty like feeling and it's not gonna give any of the color. Um, and I'm just gonna go over things like underneath my eyes and hopefully spread that a bit down. Um, where you get most sweaty is, where you get the most dirt is where you get the most sweaty. So like the more you sweat, the more dirt you get on places. So things like your upper lip and your forehead. And your neck. 
to like here, behind the ears. Cause that's not your first priority when you wash either. Your behind your ears is not, you don't get in the shower and you're like, oh my gosh, my ears are so dirty. I gotta clean them. No, you, <laughs> you get in the shower and you're like, oh, my legs, my arms. Um, you get a lot of like oil on your face. So that's where a lot of the dirt's gonna be. So you just kind of, um, Things like your cheeks, you rub your hand against all the time. Uh, you also transfer the dirt there by doing that. You pick up the dirt on your hand and then wipe it onto the sweat on your brow, which is here. You can see it kind of, uh, you can kind of see the like brighter points of where I've put this, um, which also gives since it's such a light color, it also gives it that kind of like blotchy look, which in this case is what I'm going for. Um, because any other case, it's just me looking blotchy AF and nobody wants that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get some more of a darker powder of some sort. Okay, so I have this eyeshadow, uh, Lamel London 19. Uh, I'm not actually sure what the name is supposed to be uh but because i've never heard of it before but there we go so um it actually gives me instructions on how to do it like your eyes and this and that's that would be helpful to know before um but we're not actually going to use this for its intended purposes what we're going to do is we're going to um kind of just like throw dirt um wherever you want to put it i'm going to put uh, a lot of it here and probably here and just like the under the eye part because like a lot of what you do is, is rubbing under your eye um so i'm gonna take the darkest color i can pop there um and work my way up and so i'm just gonna outline where i want it to go so just under the eyes here like on your cheekbones uh but anywhere we do and put that like that, just under the cheek, and along my chin, and then on my forehead too. And then we'll work our way from there. So what I did was I took where, where I was in the lines and just kind of shaded down so that it looks like there's just been like a, like I, my face looks dirty right now. Um, I promise that's on purpose and I don't look like, uh, I haven't just been shoving dirt onto my face um, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> all. All right. So, uh, I'm gonna take a blue. We learned this last time. There's a video on our channel that's like cosplay blues. Um, it's basically Layla put um, permanent marker on my face, and when combined with blue. Uh, you get like a dark purplish color and it looks like you've been punched in the face. Um, fortunately, I knew how to make bruises before then, uh, but this is just... Uh, I'm gonna make sort of a circle here. A semi-circle on the base of my chin so it kind of looks exactly like that. I almost flinched at my own fist. It's chill. Everything's fine. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna bring out this into the semicircle. It's gonna be uh, deeper around the edges, and then lighter probably around here. Um, the light uh, has is still the same as it was in my last cosplay video, where it just wants to do whatever it wants and hates me. So. And we're just gonna darken that. So I've been using the dark blue of this and the black there. And I'm just gonna keep darkening because it, it looks like I've, I've been hit in the face now. Oh boy, I got a big booze. I got a big booze. Ooh, ooh, what's that? <laughs> sorry, that was an awful joke. I'm not sorry, actually, but... I'm gonna 
gonna find some form of purple. Oh look, uh, I got this like fly girl outer space. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's lips, but you know, it's purple. I'm gonna use it. We'll find out how this works out. It's probably gonna go horribly, but we'll see. Ooh, it's gross. I hate it. Just using my pants as a uh, napkin right now because who needs pants, right? I do, I desperately need pants. <laughs> uh, okay, so now I'm gonna look for something a bit different, like the eyeliner that hates me. Um, and I was gonna use it to kind of outline. This is not gonna stay how it is. Um, I'm gonna. And now I'm just gonna rub it. Rub it down. Um, okay, now I'm going to apply something like blood and lip gloss to right here, um, so it'd be kind of like after effect of biting your cheek or something, you know? So I'm just going to use the fake blood and a whole lot of honey, sorry. <laughs> if I could find a lip gloss, there it is. And this right down there. Uh, this is so it's a bit thicker and doesn't like completely fall down my cheek and ruin everything. Um, but yeah. You can see I'm just in the corner of my mouth. And uh, this reminds me of the try to laugh without smiling. You're just like this. <laughs> and just doing that makes you want to laugh, you know? God, this is so funny. Just proves how often they use lipstick. Okay, now that I have the outline of that, I'm actually gonna. Uh, so my hands are filthy right now. Um, which is something I'm gonna worry about afterwards. Just letting y'all know. Um, so I have a bit of blood in the cap and around the edges that I can use instead of. So I'm just gonna. Apparently getting punched in the face sucks, so I wouldn't know. I mean, I would know from certain sources, but like still. I love getting punched in the face, it's great. Okay, and then now I'm going to change into some sort of attire. And then show you the final result. And then take all of this off my face slow, painful process of makeup removal. Side note, I have to answer the door like this. I'm so excited! And I thought it was someone I know! Like, Canada, Canada Post.
dog scare them off. The one time I'm happy that my dog scared somebody off. the makeup removal part of my life. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a like or a comment, um, maybe subscribe, that would be, that would be nice. Um, we got like six dislikes, I want to probably do this when I do, and like, more likes than we've ever gotten, and like, what is it supposed to mean? Who, who found the video specifically to be like, dislike but anyway uh yeah so subscribe comment below leave a like please 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 yeah see you later